everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing with my craft room makeover, and I'm going to be concentrating on this door behind me. It's kind of a cheap panel door, and I'm going to try to see if I can give it a little bit of a facelift with some paint and also some tin can lids. So if you've missed any of the projects in this series, you can get to all the links to all of the projects in the comment section of this video. I hope you'll check some of the other projects out. Also consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and be sure to check the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos. So the first step is to apply a coat of primer paint. Once the primer coat was dry, I added a couple of coats of my gray paint. All right, so for this next step, I'm going to be taking my rusted tin cans. And originally I thought I was just gonna use the lids, but I figured out a way to cut and use the entire can. So I've rusted my cans here. And if you're interested in how I do that, you can click on the video link in the corner right now. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I'm going to cut these cans. So you're gonna want some gloves. And I have some heavy duty tin snips. It's a pretty messy job. So I have a bucket here to catch all my scraps. Let me get my other glove here. And I also have just a cardboard template that I'm gonna be using to cut out my square shapes. It's two by two. So the first piece I'm gonna cut is this lid going to light up my template and then you'll see that it's pretty easy just to cut you can see how messy it is too So there's one piece. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the can as well. So what I found is you can do a pretty straight cut if you just sort of push one side down and let the other side come up a little bit. You can see all this stuff cracking off of it. And then to get in to make this cut, I'm just gonna pull the can apart Now I don't have to get all the way down to the edge because I'm just going to use this center part, but just to show you that you can cut all the way down here. And I'm just kind of straightening out the can as I go along. I don't know if you could get it perfectly flat, but you can flatten it out pretty easily. So I may try to do a future project with a big piece like this. But for now, my design is just uh, the little square shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut four more squares out of this piece of can. So here I've got a whole bunch of my tin cans cut and I've also rusted some thumbtacks in here. And I'm ready to go ahead and start applying them to the door. So 
So here's the basic layout of the design. I'm sort of mirroring the window panes on my other door. So this is uh, one pane or two panes across and I think I'm gonna have four panes that go down the door. So basically I just got the panes are five by seven. So I've got five lids across and seven down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark my door based on these measurements so that I know where to start placing the cans. So this might be a little bit hard to see, but I've made some markings on the door to represent where the outside edge of the tin cans will be. And I've just placed a few of the tin cans along those lines and tacked them in with a thumbtack. So I'm ready to go across. I've marked the center of the door there. And then this line down here will be the bottom of the first window pane. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just place all of the tin can lids around the edges with just a couple of tacks. And then I'll go back and fill in with more tacks to cover up the sharp edges. this I'm just lining up my pieces on my line that I've marked and then I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch gap and then I want to put the first tack in sort of in the middle and it's going to hold both pieces so I'm just going to get it started and then I'm going to go ahead and tap it in with my hammer. You want to tap the tacks fairly lightly to get them started because they are pretty easy to bend. So I've completed tacking all of the pieces onto the door on with one tack on all four sides. And now I just need to go back in and fill in the edges with more tacks so that all the raw edges are covered up. So here's a look at the finished door. The paint has gotten a little smudged uh, from the rusted tin cans and thumbtacks. So I need to wipe the door down with a um, sponge and then I may need to do a little touch up painting on the door where I've scratched it with the hammer. And the final step will be to put a coat of Minwax Polycrylic on. I'm going to paint the whole door but it's basically used just to seal the rust on the tin cans and to also add a little bit of shine. All right, so I've finished wiping down and uh, getting the dust off of the door and um, touching up the paint where I needed to. And I'm ready to go ahead and put on a coat of the Minwax Pie Gloss Polycrylic. I really love this stuff. It's, it's fairly thin, a little bit goes a long way. You do want to drop cloth at the bottom so that, uh, and you want to be sure to catch all of the runs as, it, as uh, it drips a little bit. But it's going to give a nice gloss to all the tin here and also to the door because I'm just going to put a coat on the whole thing. 
All right, so you can see the top where I've put a coat already and you can see how shiny it is. Um, just to show you the poly coat, it's very, very thin. It's kind of a creamy color. So I just don't need very much. And I want to make sure, as I put it on the door, if it's running at all, I want to make sure that I'm smoothing out those drips. And you want to be especially careful on the tin cans and tacks because the poly coat can pool under these ridges and things so you just want to keep an eye on it make sure you don't have any drips and keep a really thin coat nice and smooth but you can see it gives it a really pretty shine and it will help to seal the rusting tin cans and just kind of hold the look that they have right now. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You can find a complete list of materials used for this project in the comments section of this video. And I hope you'll check out some of my other craft room makeover projects. I will link to those in the comments section as well. If you like crafting with recycled materials and upcycling, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and also checking out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.